Should you use a debit card, credit card, or cash when paying for things? It's a decision that many people don't think too much about, often sticking with whatever method they've always used. But choosing the right payment method can actually save you a lot of money over time. So today we're going to explore the benefits of credit cards, the benefits of debit cards, and the debate surrounding these two choices, and some advice on what might work best for you. But before we get into today's video, my name is Casey McEwen, and if you wanna thrive financially, this channel is the place for you. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more future content. Now let's start with the experts and advisors on social media who strongly believe that credit cards are risky. I don't need to name names. They argue that since it's easier to spend money with a credit card because you don't feel the immediate loss of cash, it can actually lead to overspending and financial trouble. Now, if you asked a group of people about this, you'd likely get mixed opinions. Now, those against credit cards often emphasize the importance of avoiding debt. Now, while those in favor highlight the potential benefits they can achieve from their spending. Now, if you've watched a lot of my content on this channel, you're well aware of my opinions on credit card spending. I am obviously a huge advocate of credit card spending as long as it's done correctly. I'll be honest with you guys, just this past week, I booked an entire business class flight for my honeymoon next summer, and I didn't pay anything beyond taxes and fees. We're talking a couple hundred bucks. And then on the flip side, if I didn't utilize my credit cards at all, and all I used was a debit card, I would have likely had to pay north of $20,000 for my hotel and two flights round trip in business class to where we're spending our honeymoon at next summer. But instead I paid a couple hundred dollars in taxes and fees because I utilized and essentially leveraged my credit cards for credit card redemption points. However, depending on your financial habits, there's likely going to be a right payment method for you. Now let's look at the benefits of debit cards. There's not any, I'm just kidding. The biggest perk is that you can't spend money that you essentially don't have. Now, if your account balance is low, a debit card transaction will be declined if you try to spend more than what's available, which helps prevent overspending and keeps you out of debt. Now, debit cards are often easy to obtain. There's no application. You essentially just open a bank account and there you go. Whatever kind of money you have in that account can be utilized on your debit card and you cannot overspend what you currently have. Now, these are obviously convenient because they're usable almost everywhere for online payments and at all ATMs. If you're already in debt or struggle with controlling your spending, certainly a debit card might be the safest option for you. Now, this is obviously why some financial experts recommend them because they believe most people just lack the overall discipline to handle credit cards without getting themselves into financial trouble. But on the other side of the spectrum, if you are an individual who has complete control of your finances, well, credit cards can offer for huge benefits. Now, one major advantage is something I just went over with you guys. You have the opportunity to essentially earn rewards that can be redeemed for really whatever you want. If you always pay off your balance and avoid interest, you can make the most of these perks. For example, some credit cards offer cash back if cash is king or points that you can be redeemed for travel, gift cards, or even to pay off your balance. Now, credit cards can often help build your credit score, which is crucial, obviously, for financial opportunities like getting loans, lowering your interest rates, or even renting an apartment. Another benefit is the consumer protection credit cards offer. If you buy something online and encounter a problem, your credit card company can assist in getting your money back, which is a level of protection that debit cards often don't provide. However, credit cards can be dangerous if you don't use them wisely. It's essentially easier to swipe a card than to hand over cash, which can often lead to overspending. And if you accumulate too much debt, it can be a difficult position to pay off. Now, some financial experts advise avoiding credit cards altogether to just prevent these risks from even happening. Now, it's something that I've gone over in much more detail in other videos, but credit card hacking is a thing, meaning you're essentially going to get a credit card, meet the minimum spend, earn the rewards that they give you, and cancel that credit card before the end of that first year so you don't incur that second year fee. Now, obviously, you can't do this forever, guys, and it's not something that you can continue to do for the same credit card, but there are a ton of different credit cards out there that offer tremendous reward. And just a quick tip for anyone that is watching this video, eventually, you will likely settle 
throttle down with a significant other. And that significant other can also utilize credit card points too for the very same credit cards that you have already leveraged. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about all of the perks when it comes to utilizing a credit card. I have plenty of other videos on this channel that go over in a lot more detail than I am going to in this video. But I'm telling you guys, there are so many benefits to utilizing credit cards. Again, as long as you are financially capable of paying it off every single month so you don't incur additional interest rate. Because I'll tell you guys, the interest rate, if you aren't aware, on credit cards is awful. Now, another benefit with debit cards is obviously you are not spending more money than you have. If you're not spending more money than you have, you're not leveraging someone else's money to essentially buy something that you want. So debit cards don't have an interest rate. They don't have an APR. There's no money that you're taking from someone else or another bank or another entity and utilizing their money to buy something right now. So yes, debit cards don't have any interest rate. You're not borrowing money. Credit cards on the other side potentially could have a 0% introductory APR or basically an interest rate for a select amount of time where you don't pay any interest on the purchases that you made. But eventually the credit card company is going to get their money back, especially if you don't pay and the high interest rates that all credit card companies have. So what's the takeaway? If you're going to use a credit card, follow these rules and follow them strictly. Don't spend more than you have, pay off your balance every single month and never carry a balance and understand your spending habits. If these guidelines seem difficult to follow, a debit card may be the better choice for you. For those who closely manage their finances and have control over their spending, credit cards could certainly offer huge rewards without the drawbacks. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments, which payment method do you prefer? Do you wanna use your credit card? Do you have a credit card? Do you only use your debit card? Or are you an individual that solely pays from cash? And what do you think is the best choice for most people? Thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help. And stay tuned for the next video.